Ongoing battle between a Freeport business owner and Walton County continues tonight. The county called the business owner for another hearing. She says she's done everything possible to comply, but the county says otherwise. News 13's Emily McLeod was at that hearing. She's live in our studios tonight. Emily, did they reach some kind of resolution? Well, not really. It was three hours of back and forth between the county and Horsepower Pavilion. While the county is saying she's not in compliance, the business owner is determined to prove otherwise. After Wednesday's hearing, approval for Horsepower Pavilion's bar and stage space is still at a standstill. Owner Kate Holland says she feels like she's on a merry-go-round. Um, I feel like I've let the community down, um, but we're going to do everything in our power to get the community back out there. Back when COVID-19 hit, Holland says she asked the county what she could do to adjust her business plan. She says the county suggested she move her business outside, something Walton County Planning Director Matt Carpenter says never happened. What we have done during the COVID crisis is we've allowed existing restaurants that were in business to extend their seating area outside to provide for the, the social distancing distance prescribed by the CDC uh, and our state health department. Carpenter says Holland never opened, which means those rules don't apply to her. She never pulled the first building permit to do the interior remodel necessary to demonstrate uh, that that restaurant could open and could support the liquor license that was approved at that restaurant. The county says the zoning board granted Holland's property a commercial variance to operate only as a wedding venue. They also say her pole barn was only approved to be a children's play area. Holland says that isn't true. We were on the front page of the paper doing events, car shows, pumpkin patches. We have homeschool out there. We've always done that. That's what, this, this, is, this is not true. County officials also say Holland's stage and bar area constructed out of shipping containers needs a separate building permit and needs to be inspected by an engineer. Holland says her engineer has submitted their inspection and adds the proposal is in the permits, which was submitted on Friday. The magistrate did not allow for public comment during tonight's hearing. We asked Carpenter where the breakdown in communication is, and he says it's not with the county. Now, Emily, what does the county say she needs to do to be in compliance? To use the bar and stage area, they say she will need to get a land use change. Emily McLeod tonight. Thanks for the update.